Javante Tech Davis is pissed off at Mayweather promotions, Floyd Mayweather, and now somebody else is on his shit list, and that's Steven Espinosa and Showtime. We're going to get into the tweet that he put out there and then delete it because somebody probably told him, man, you can't be doing that saying that. And uh, apparently he want to switch to the other side, and Tank been kind of hinting at that before, but we back. It's the Boston Clinic Moore. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow once again. Dropping some knowledge on you guys as well. And um, we're going to get into the tweet. I screenshotted it, man. And uh, I think he deleted it because I don't see it on his page no more. But, um, um, you know, Tank is ungrateful, bro. You know, Tank, you know, he probably far from that humble kid that met Mayweather with Adrian Broner. Um, and it seemed like he letting the shit get to his head and he can't handle the shit. He going down the same path. That Broner went down, man, and, um, you know, as far as with his weight, we'll talk about that tomorrow in another video. His weight, uh, it's probably, his weight and his, his mentality is going to be his downfall, man. You know, um, you know, it just, it don't seem, it don't seem like he grateful for nothing that's been given to him. A guy that grew up in the system, the foster care system, a guy that grew up in Baltimore that had a tough time. And now, you know, he act like he brand new, you know what I'm saying? Um. And I know it's probably things behind closed doors that he don't like. He mad because he stuck with Mayweather Promotions. But apparently Floyd has done a lot for him. Put him in cars. Made sure his family had houses. Whatever they said he's doing. Allegedly, all right. But he's not grateful for none of it now. Now he think he big shit. Um, he didn't bat an eye when he kind of fucked up the Conor McGregor Mayweather situation for himself. And, um, you know, he believed he is his own entity in his own way. If he does have a deal with Under Armour, I think that's still valid. And, um, you know, he not handling well. He handling it the same way A.B. was handling. So don't be surprised if you hear Javante Tank Davis talking about he want to end it all. He can't deal with the stress and the BS and stuff of that nature. You know what I'm saying? And he going to have to get a reality check. I think it's going to take somebody to get in his ass to give him a reality check. But um, he feels nobody can beat him. And, and that's what it's supposed to be at 21, 22 years old. Uh, he holds a lot of talent and he holds the pedestal to take the torch and be the next best thing in boxing, but it's slipping. But this is what he says right here. He said, I feel like Showtime or the game don't respect me anyway, but they uh will will they will wake up. Maybe I should go to the other side of the street. Um I don't know, you know, as far as what Showtime did, as far as catch him on camera or whatever it may be, um but he wasn't happy with it. Um Apparently, and if he goes to the other side of the street, so be it. You know what I'm saying? The other side of the street got Lomachenko on it. Or the other side of the street got Eddie Hearn on it. And um, and that's what he tools to do, man. A lot of people fed up with with this act, this ungrateful ass motherfucker. I mean, all this talent and people trying to support him. He just keep doing retarded and dumb stuff, man. Great talent though, man. He went on the Breakfast Club talking about he might want to join up with Oscar De La Hoya. You know, whatever whatever Floyd is doing to this kid or not doing for this kid, man. It must be really, really deep because they keep making up the breakup. You know what I'm saying? On some, uh, what is it, the stylistics. Make up, make up the breakup, man. That's what they keep doing. First, they sit down, chop it up. You know, he don't want to fight in Vegas. He don't want to train in Vegas. Floyd shelf him. Then he trade in Baltimore. He get in more trouble. He punched one of his homeboys with, with, with his hands gloved and then a boxing glove. His homeboy dropped the charge. Then he go down to Florida and train and say the Mayweather promotions ain't checking up on him. They ain't asked if they need it, if he need nothing. Now Floyd tried to get him back out, go out to Vegas and train and be his trainer. And he didn't like that. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? They trying to help this kid. They really, Floyd trying to get a return on his investment with this kid. But um, obviously they can't keep him happy. And obviously, you know, he let 100 fighters go. Tank said that on Twitter and, and he didn't let him go. And Tank want to get from up under the dude. And if I'm Floyd, I'm like, okay. I mean, this is the money I spent on you. I'm gonna need that with with some with 20% uh, interest on it. I'm gonna need whatever I gave with 20% interest on top of that. I'm I'm gonna need a buyout on top of that as well too. You know what I'm saying? It's a business. You just don't walk in and walk out of contracts. You know, you just don't walk in and I take care of you, put you in the house, cars, fam, whatever you did for him. And I just, you know, you just walk out because woo, 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 whatever the may, case may be, it don't work like that. You're going to pay what you owe. You know what I'm saying? Everything I gave you up front, I don't want it back. I want everything I gave you plus 20% and your buyout money. You know, and whatever your contract indicates your buyout money is, and that's what it's going to be. And, and if Tank want to go to the other side and see how the other side is, he mad at the network, whatever it may be. But you the very same guy that, that said that they forced you in fighting Jose Pedraza. 
you know, you wasn't ready for that fight. What is you ready for then? They not that Mayweather promotions and Showtime hasn't matched Javante Tank Davis tough. You know what I'm saying? They haven't matched him tough. You know, they put this dude on a pedestal. And if he mad he ain't the main event, it, it's going to happen. Now they got more fight dates. Now you can be a main event. But obviously, man, this dude, for one, is lazy. You know, he ungrateful. You know, and he going down the wrong path, man. He not going to reach his potential, man. He not. Um, you know, no matter how many people talk to him, whatever the case may be, and I guarantee you, he don't have that same energy when boss is around. He don't have that same energy as Floyd around. He won't say none of that shit. I didn't seen him before. Get the stuttering. You know, no. You know, he tough when he off the liquor. He tough when he with Broner. He tough when he around certain people. He act tough. When you put authority around him, you put real bosses around him, he don't talk that tough shit. You know, he don't talk all that tough shit, man. But at the end of the day, man, if I'm Floyd, I said, look here, man, this is what you're going to pay to get the fuck up out this contract. You're going to give me all the money back. I spent on your little yellow ass, and that's what it is. You know, until you earn that money, you can buy yourself out. You know, and that's just what it is. Man, I'll be done with this yellow motherfucking Pikachu, man, if I'm Floyd. Man, I'll be done with it. I'm done, man. I'm trying to get the, you give him boxers opportunity to fight on McGregor and the Mayweather undercard and make money. Tank making money. Tank won't go anywhere else and make the money he making with Mayweather promotion. That's a fact. But it is what it is, man. Don't forget to check us out. We're on social media. All the links in the description. You want to email me with a, um, a business proposition or you want to do a video collab. My email is there as well. Where I got my instrumentals at is in the link in the description as well. Always check the description for sources, links, um, social media pages, new platforms like the Ron and Cut podcast we got going on. Um, so you know we're working that as well. I definitely appreciate our brothers and sisters supporting TVC and more. Y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time we gone.